Is your spud a dud? I'll show you how to upcycle this oldie but goodie toy into something new and fun. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina with the Purple Alphabet, and I have a toy upcycle with Mr. Potato Head here. I'm sure you all probably have this toy already. It's a classic. It's fairly inexpensive. You'll have all sorts of different body parts, but then when you're done playing with it by putting all the pieces in, what more can you do? And that's what an upcycle is all about, is taking an older toy that maybe has lost its gleam, its excitement, and mixing it up and doing something different. So I just searched all over Pinterest, and I found the best activities, and I I can't wait to show them to you. All right, so as always, I try to explain things in different levels and in different skill levels depending on your child. You guys really need to determine which would work best for you guys, but I'll try to give little hints here and there. So the first game is a what's missing game. So start off with your basic parts. I'm gonna put out my two hands, a nose, a mouth, some ears. For a younger child, you'll start off with just a few parts and then work your way up to make the level more difficult. So it's real simple. You just show all the parts out and display them as such, mix them up, and you say to your child, now take a good look because we're going to play a game, have them close their eyes, leave the room, and you can take away one of the parts, have them come back, and ask what piece is missing. Then you can take turns or you can even do more parts at once or you can start adding in even more of those potato head parts. The next activity is sequencing, and sequencing is a really great skill to have as well. Just start off with a potato head, take your tablet, your phone, whatever, take a picture, and then put in your next part. Take another picture with your tablet, next part, and so on and so forth until you have done your sequence. Now the younger kids, keep the sequence easy, three, four parts at most. And as your child gets better at it, you can add in more parts to make it more difficult. Next, I took all of those pictures into my computer and I made a strip. So this is a sequencing strip going forth, beginning all the way to the end. I decided my, to keep mine all in a strip just so they all be together. But you can also do individual cards. I made my cards really small. I do recommend making them a little bit bigger, but I'm just trying to save on lamination. Now when you have the strip, your child can take the potato head and the parts and begin sequencing this way. So you start off with the head, um, you put on the feet, you add in the eyes, and then all the way through the steps to make a complete potato head. You can do several of these strips with several different parts and you can have just different varieties of ones as well, which would be really fun. If you want to make it more difficult, you can start off having the child create the sequence themselves. So here's that's the same pictures from that strip, and then the child would have to arrange these in the correct order. And so this is an activity in itself, and then they can take the potato head and do the same thing. A little bit more involved, but the exact same thing um, as far as sequencing goes. Next, you can make your Mr. Potato Head as silly as you want. Go ahead and take a picture of that potato head with your iPad or your tablet. Same thing, print it out on the computer and make different cards of different variations. So this is a little bit different from sequencing. This is just making the whole creation all at once and then putting that on a card and having the child recreate it as well. So this is not sequencing, but it's just a copy to the picture. And then I found this really great printable on E is for Explore. Um, I'll put it down below in the description box where you can go check it out if you want this. And it's a game, and it's a math game. I have some other dice math games. Um, I'll link those below if you're interested in dice games, if you're into math. And this one is great for subtraction. So you're just gonna roll the dice, and you're gonna do like five minus three is two. And so that means you get to put on the hat onto your Mr. Potato Head. And you can take turns all the way through until you get to the end. So I thought this was a lot of fun and a great way to introduce some learning into your Mr. Potato Head. You guys, I want to thank you for all of your comments you guys have been leaving me. I read them. I love them. And some of you have said some really, really sweet things. I enjoy every one of them. I also wanted to invite everybody to an open collab. So if you like these upcycling ideas, 
this collab is for you. So look around your house, see what toys have kind of lost their gleam and tell me and make a video about how you can turn that around into something new, an updated thing, something that applies to your kid's age now. I think it'd be really great that we can reuse our toys that we have all the way around the house and make something new and fun. The collab will be on August 18th. Just leave me a comment down below and I will include you on my list. Click subscribe to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love and I will see you later. Now you guys, it turned out absolutely adorable. I'm really happy with it. I do recommend that once you